Today I am sharing how to throw a tea party picnic. With warm days here and spring flowers blooming, it is the perfect time to enjoy activities outside. This afternoon tea picnic is easy to throw, plus adults and kids alike will love it. So join me as I pack and then set up for a precious tea party. To begin planning for your tea party, you're gonna need something to pack all your teacups in. So I'm grabbing my picnic basket that I use for decorations in my home off of the bookcase. As you can see, I actually use it for storage too. I put decorations that I'm not using currently into the picnic basket, especially things that I like to keep out year year round so i have to clean it out and then i'm going to start collecting all my tea stuff and putting it in the basket let's grab our dishes and i'll show you um basically all the pieces for the project there's gonna be four of us at the um, tea party. So I'm gonna need four cups, four plates, etc. So let me grab those. Look at this teapot. This was my grandmother's teapot and I just love it but it's missing the lid. And the reason why it's missing the lid is because when my girls were growing up, they were, would play with it occasionally and they broke the lid one day. So the lid's gone, but that doesn't mean we can't keep having fun with this. Okay, so we're also gonna need some forks. So I'm gonna grab some of my small forks. Um, these are actually salad forks. So I'm gonna grab some of those. And we need a cake stand, so let's go in here and we'll grab a cake stand. So the buffet down here is where I have the the cake stands, so I'm going to come down here and show you where I pull it from. So I do keep a lot of china stuff in here, and I'm not sure if you can see this, but I'm going to bring this small cake stand, and I'm going to bring this larger cake stand for the project. We need to grab um, some tablecloths and some blankets, so we'll go over here and grab this. All right, so next I've got to, I'm gonna pull the blanket down off of the wall in my um, rocking chair room, and we're gonna fold it, and we're gonna put it in the bottom of the basket. So let me grab that. I'm gonna show you um, some tablecloths that I'm gonna use on the table. And then um, in my cabinet here, I've got this tablecloth, which we used for my daughter's bridal shower. And I'm going with like a pastel theme, so this is great for that. So I'll layer that on top of the blanket. And then I have this adorable pattern here. Um, Marty's mom, I think, made this, or at least I found it in her stuff. I'm not sure if she made it or if she bought it, but it's really has that tea party look on it. And I have this little bunny rabbit that I think might be cute, so I'm going to go get him. Okay, so this is how we have it all laid out in here. As you can see, I turned this upside down so I could put stuff around this. I put the plates on the bottom, then I'll wrap this guy and put him on top with smaller pieces around that. So now I'm gonna place the, um, the blankets on top and then I'll put the rabbits somewhere in there. Now that we're all packed, we're on our way to visit my niece and have a tea party. Now that you have all your supplies, let's look for a level spot in your backyard or at the park for your picnic. We chose a field close to my niece's house and nestled our picnic next to this gorgeous tree. It was the perfect, charming spot. The first thing you want to place on the ground is a blanket, but before you place your covering on the grass, 
Make sure there are no ants or anything sharp where you're setting up. Once you have a good spot picked out, lay your blanket down. I love layering blankets when picnicking. It makes everything look pretty and makes sitting on the ground softer. After we placed the blanket on the ground, we laid the block print tablecloth on a diagonal and then the small tea table linen over that. Next, place your basket and your tray that you carried everything in on one corner of the blanket. So place your small cake on the plate along with the macarons. Now add some flowers to your tray. We chose baby's breath because the petals are dainty, just like this tea party, and the white color would match any decorations. Simply place a clear jar with one batch of flowers from your local grocery store onto the tray. Next, place finger sandwiches on a white napkin along with other store-bought goodies like these waffle cookies. To finish the look of the tray, let's add this cute gold bunny or anything that has a sweet and precious look to it in one corner. Now let's talk about where to set up the tea set. The perfect spot is the picnic basket. If you have a tray, you can add it here too, but we forgot to bring one. So we use the top of the basket to hold the teapot, cream, and sugar dishes. Now that we have everything set up, it's time to party. This tea party was a simple afternoon tea outdoors with just us and the little girls. But you can make this a larger tea party by adding more blankets and setting up everything on a table somewhere close. You can also set this tea party up indoors, which is a fun idea if you have children and it's a rainy day and you're trying to find something to do. We sat our plates on the blanket and let the girls gather what treats they wanted while Savannah poured tea. We knew the girls love good old fashioned cold sweet tea, so we simply poured that into the teapot. You can make your choice of tea based on you and your guest preferences, but there is no rule that says it needs to be hot tea. They loved every minute of it, and we had to fill the tea pitcher up several times. And they looked adorable holding their vintage teacups. Our vintage tea party was a wonderful after-school activity, the perfect opportunity to have fun and pass on a wonderful tradition. The girls were dressed up in white eyelet dresses that we found at Walmart, which can also be used for Easter too. It really was the picture perfect day. The sun was behind the clouds and the temperature was just right. Our bellies were full and we were talking about packing up when all of a sudden we felt a few sprinkles of rain. Jumping to our feet, we started packing everything up when the rain started coming down. We couldn't believe that the rain held off just enough for us to enjoy a short little outdoor picnic. <music>